Unfortunately, Phillips, Black who had already received multiple warnings about ICE, responded by telling the wireless operator of the Californian to shut up. When the Titanic hit the iceberg, Phillips frantically sent out the stress signals until 2 o'clock a.m. the next morning, when Captain Smith came and relieved him of his duties. At this point, water was flooding into the wireless room. Phillips was the last seen racing toward the after the Titanic and never made it off the ship. Thomas Andrew, the British architect in charge of designing the Titanic, was a first-class passenger on the Titanic and probably knew the ship better than anyone else. In fact, Andrews had suggested the Titanic have at least 46 lifeboats. Unfortunately, upper management for the Titanic project overruled his suggestion and equipped the Titanic with a mere 20 lifeboats. When the Titanic hit the iceberg, Captain Smith ordered Andrews to inspect the damage. Andrews, realizing the Titanic was doomed to sink, made haste to put passengers on the lifeboats. He was last seen in the smoking room, eyes fixed on the Plymouth Harbor painting over the fireplace. The unknown child, whose body was recovered and buried in Halifax, Nova Scotia, remained unidentified until 2008 when a DNA analysis conducted by Canadian researchers at Lakehead University revealed his identity as Sidney Leslie Goodwin. Sidney, who was only 19 months old at the time of the Titanic sinking, was the son of Frederick Joseph Goodwin and Augusta Tyler from England. Sadly, the entire Goodwin family, which had been traveling third class, perished in the sinking. Bessie Waldo Allison, an American first-class passenger, boarded the Titanic with her husband Hudson Allison, her young children Lorraine and Trevor, as well as four of the family's servants. When the Titanic hit the iceberg, Bessie and her daughter Lorraine were placed on a lifeboat and would have left the Titanic safely, but Bessie ran off the lifeboat in a panic to look for Trevor, her other child. Unbeknownst to Bessie, Trevor was safe on another lifeboat with the family nurse. Bessie refused to leave the ship until she found him. Regrettably, Bessie never found her son Trevor and she died in the sinking. In fact, Trevor, only 11 months at the time, was the only surviving member of the Allison family. Elin Gerda Lindell, oh, they're all dead, the Swedish third-class passenger immigrating to the United States with her husband Edvard, a shoe factory worker. As the Titanic sank, they both managed to reach the partially submerged collapsible A, but Elin fell in the water and Edvard was too weak to pull her out. As Elin drifted away and drowned, Edvard watched helplessly while tightly clutching Elin's wedding ring. Edvard, stricken with grief, died from the cold with his wife's wedding ring still in his hand. Annie Clemmer Funk, an American missionary who boarded the Titanic as a second-class passenger, was asleep in her cabin when the Titanic struck the iceberg. A steward came to her door to wake her, relay the news, and tell her to get dressed and go up on deck. the more than 1,500 people anxiously awaiting that terrible moment when the Titanic would plunge beneath the murky and frigid water. Can't believe people shouldn't have died. Please, take a moment and honor the memory of the Titanic victims by leaving a comment with a rose or flower. Take a look at Jake Arrieta. As I was saying, he had struggled in his first start with his command. Pitch on to Dia. Do a little better with the fly ball center field. And Herrera is there. Now coming in. Swing and a miss for the pitch in the dirt. Over to third base. Adrianza. Supposed to go if he's out. Camper right side. He's going to have to hustle.
<laughs> Nick is so...
Hotel Sierra. Thank <laughs> you.